Oh, man, so the suits are primed to take over crypto. Just over a week since the SEC targeted their attack at Coinbase and Binance, the world's two largest exchange, many big TradFi players look set and primed to take over the crypto space. $1.4 trillion banking giant Deutsche Bank files for a crypto custody license. Charles Schwab, Fidelity, Citadel, and the IMF all making moves here after, of course, we announced that BlackRock are applying for a spot Bitcoin ETF. What is going on and have we lost grip of the web free technology as we dreamt it, as we dreamt it to be this antithesis of TradFi? Are we now at risk of being taken over by the very same people who built the manipulative traditional finance system. Guys, we've got so much to cover off here. This is crazy how this is playing out. And you can literally see how this is unraveling before your eyes. There is no surprise earlier today, we spoke about how the IMF is working on a global CBDC, right? They're looking to build a platform, a rail from which countries can use their CBDCs and interact between each other. This has not been a surprise, right? We then had the SEC going after Binance and Coinbase. And now straight behind that, you then literally uncannily a few days later get BlackRock. Keep in mind, this is the same Larry Fink, who's the CEO of BlackRock, who once said that Bitcoin is an index of money laundering now being primed to become the leader and the most likely player to finally get approved for a Bitcoin ETF. Now, remember, BlackCoin aren't in the business. BlackRock are not in the business of just applying for ETFs and getting rejected. No, this is the biggest asset manager in the world. When they go and apply for an ETF, the chances of them getting approved are very, very high versus somebody else applying. So this is a carefully crafted game. If you now look at it, you then have this. This was a very interesting one. Crypto exchange backed by Schwab and Fidelity goes live offering Bitcoin and Ether trading. What a coincidence. Bitcoin and Ether trading. What did we see from the SEC? Mention of a whole bunch of altcoins in the top 20. They didn't mention Bitcoin. They didn't mention Ether. What did I say in my videos? Do not be surprised to see them spin up an exchange which has Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe a handful of proof of work type altcoins which they vetted and which they liked. That's it. Then they want to control that. That's the piece they want to control. That's the trading volume. Bitcoin dominance right now is 50%. Bitcoin makes up 50% of the crypto market cap and they can take it with one fell swoop controlling the Bitcoin spot ETF market and then driving that market into growth over the next five, 10 years. And now that they figured out how to control it or they think they have, now you're going to see them be pro Bitcoin, right? Anti everything else. Oh, they're all securities. But Bitcoin is fantastic. Look at this spot ETF. You can do it in a regulated manner. Look at this. You can do it via BlackRock. Look at this. We're protecting the custody of it. This is a very interesting move. So you've got this platform now called EDX Markets, which nobody has heard about. They're going to launch this exchange backed by uh, Charles Schwab, Fidelity and Citadel, right? A bunch of the big incumbents in TradFi. And my thing is, I don't actually mind any of this, right? I don't mind TradFi deciding that Web3 is a great thing and coming to play. This playpen is big enough. You can all come play. What I don't like is the systematic targeting of the incumbents, of the native players, Coinbase and Binance, who were here from the start, who built this space, right? With us, who were here in, in the early days, the early adopters. And to then attack them and then take the space. Why don't you want to fight on a, on a fair playing field, on an even playing field? But TradFi never do that. TradFi, like I've continuously said, they will not get involved until they figured out how to stack the cards in their favor. They only play games which statistically they're going to win by a huge margin. And they stack those cards in their favor. Okay, They will not come in and compete with Coinbase and Binance one-to-one -one, because they won't win that game. Right? They know they're the natives. They know they, they build the trading volume and the loyalty amongst the crypto community. But if they can put them in a pen, if they can say that they're, they're unregistered exchanges, they can put some fun over them, then they can come in and offer you the solution, right? The regulated solution, which they can control and take their cut of as the space grows. If they didn't do that, if they let Coinbase do their thing, Binance do their thing, pull the SEC away and say, SEC, chill out, leave them alone. And then the incumbents wanted to play great. There's plenty of space for all of us. Let's all grow this space together. But that's not what TradFi does. Right? And that's my particular gripe with what's going on right now. So hopefully you guys are seeing this. It's crystal clear. It's happening before our eyes. There is no coincidence. That the, look at the timeline. SEC comes out, uh, charges Coinbase with a lawsuit, hits Binance with a lawsuit, BlackRock files the ETF. Then you've got, then you've got Deutsche Bank registering for crypto custody. Now you've got Citadel, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, 
You know, you can't write this. Just remember, these are the same people. Remember, Jamie, do you remember Jamie Dimon, right? The head of JP Morgan. He used to say crypto was rubbish and a scam. And now he's all in as well. Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock. Oh, it's index of money laundering. He's all in, right? It's very interesting how this is all happening. Now, as they start to realize, oh, wait, there is a mechanism by which we can control it. We can control the spot ETFs. If we kill off Coinbase and Binance, we can create another exchange that has Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a couple of uh, altcoins that we allow in there maybe, and we can control the trading volume, right? And we could do it in a regulated manner. So this is really, really a, you know, a dangerous, dangerous moment for crypto. I know this because I spent time at TradFires. One of the reasons I left was how they don't like to play on an even, more, even moral playing ground. They're not moral people. I know that. I spent time there, right? They do not do things the way you expect. And this is exactly why we created Web3. Decentralized, immutable, permissionless. You can't censor it. You're not going to get any of that if they control it. Absolutely not. You will not get that, right? And that's the, that's the reality. If you look at how traditional finance is propped up, they always do it with lies, deception, controlling your money. That's always how it's been. Look at the fractional banking reserve system, right? Look at it. Look how they get away with that. You think they're not going to try to bring their same greed, deceitfulness, rehypothecation, the same things we've seen? Are they not going to bring it into, into the crypto world? Of course they will, right? Because they're greedy and they're going to want more and more and more. They'll break our systems. And then they'll go for bailouts and they'll try to patch things up again and then they'll break it. That's not why crypto was created. Crypto was created in the midst of the financial crisis. So Toshi Nakamoto understood that TradFi was falling down and this was the antidote to that. But here's the thing. This doesn't mean I'm anti-regulation, right? I'm pro-regulation. I'm pro-competition. I think it's all good thing. I'm just not happy with how they're doing it. So with the SEC, let's use the SEC as an example. Regulation is fantastic. If you look at a company like Tesla, they have to adhere, which I'm a shareholder of, by the way, they have to adhere with so many regulations for road safety. But the regulations grows the market because it allows more people to trust cars, to trust Teslas, and to drive them. So it grows the market and grows shareholder value over time. And I'm a strong believer that the same will happen for crypto. If we have good regulation, just like traffic lights on the road, if we have good regulation, it will bring more people into crypto. Less people will be scammed. It'll be a safer place to be. But so far, we're not seeing that. That is not what we're seeing from the SEC. We're not seeing a fair attempt to regulate an unregulated market. What we're seeing is they're trying to enforce. They're trying to enforce, they're trying to set an example of Coinbase and Binance, and they're being very gray and cryptic with how the exchanges are supposed to operate. We've heard the same message from Binance, send the same message from Coinbase and many of the other exchanges. The laws are not clear, they need to be written, and clarity needs to be provided. And the same thing on the TradFi side. TradFi, come in and compete, no problem. If you're a better exchange, let the trading volume go to you guys at Deutsche Bank or whatever else you're going to set up. But make it fair. It's not fair that every single, every single spot ETF is rejected, but then BlackRock will come through with one and get approved just because they're BlackRock. That is not okay. That is handing down the, from the old guard, right? And that's exactly not what we want. We want the survival of the fittest. We want the best minds, the best tech to survive. We don't just want to carry on from TradFi into a Web3 version of TradFi. That is not what we're creating here. So this is an interesting, interesting development here in what's going on. We will keep a close eye on it. Make sure you catch up on my video earlier today because the, actually the Bitcoin price action is looking remarkably strong because ultimately TradFi coming in brings in more hands, right? It brings in more hands. It brings in more institutional money. It brings in more confidence into the market. But from our perspective as incumbents, as early adopters, this is a very, very dangerous path we're walking on. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash the likes. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.